Hello students. In the previous unit, we learnt about the transition metals form a large number of complex compounds in which the metal atom are bound to number of anions or the neutral molecules. So, in these complexes, which are also termed as coordination compounds. So, in this chapter, we are going to discuss about such type of complexes, which is called as coordination compounds. So, in this video, we are going to discuss the introduction part of coordination compounds. Coordination compounds, which are the complex compounds, which are the special type of compounds in which the metal atom or the ions are bound to a number of anions or the neutral molecule. As we can see in this figure, the metal atom that is surrounded by some neutral or we can say anions molecules which is coordinately bonded to the metal. So such molecule is called as that is complexes and in modern terminology these compounds are called coordination compounds. So first we will be introducing the different terms which we will be using in this chapter. Let us take one example K4FeCN6. The coordination compound is represented in a square bracket. These square brackets are called as coordination entity or coordination sphere which constitute the central metal atom or the ion as Fe is the central metal atom here in this molecule and which is bonded to a number of oppositely charged ions or the neutral molecule which is called as ligands like Cn is the ligand here which having negatively charged. There are some ions which is called as counter ion which is usually represented out of the bracket as it is shown here K4 is a counter ion which is represented out of the bracket. If the counter ion is positively charged like K plus it should be written on the this side that is on the left hand side of the bracket and if it is a negatively charged counter ion like Cl it should be written on the right side of the bracket of the, that is right side of the coordination sphere. So in this example the counter ion is positively charged that is K plus 4 K plus are there that is written K4 which is written on the left hand side of the coordination sphere. Here the ligands are of fixed number like here there are 6 Cn therefore that number is called as coordination number. So these are the different terms which we have used here in a formula that is a coordination compound. There is a central metal atom that is F is a central metal atom which is bonded to a negatively charged ion here that is cyanide Cn minus is the negatively charged ion which is bonded to Fe which is called as ligand and the fixed number of uh, ion ligands are attached that is 6 here that is called as coordination number and here this whole entity that is coordin that is the central metal and the ligand is within the bracket that is called as coordination sphere and there is a counter ion here that is K4. So these are the terms which we will be using here. The details of these will be discussing in the next video. Here the central metal atom act as a Lewis acid and the ligands act as Lewis base because here there is a formation of coordinate covalent bond between the ligand and the central metal atom in which the ligands are contributing the electron for the bond formation to the Fe. So there is a formation of coordinate covalent bond therefore such type of compound is called as coordination compound. Let us take one more example. In this example which one is the central metal atom? You can see central metal ion that is CO 
एन एच थ्री इज द लीग एंड अमोनिया इज द लीग एंड सिक्स इज द कॉर्डिनेशन नंबर एट दिस होल एंटिटी इज इन द कॉर्डिनेशन स्पीयर सो दैट इज अबाउट द केस ऑफ सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स इन द कॉर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड फर्स्ट विल बी डिस्कसिंग नाउ द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सेस द कॉम्प्लेक्सेस आर क्लासिफाइड बाई द चार्ज ऑन इट्स दैट इज कैटाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स दिस एग्जाम्पल इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कैटाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स बट हाउ यू आइडेंटिफाई वेदर इट इज अ कैटाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स और नॉट दैट इज इन दिस केस द सेंट्रल मेटल इज सी आर द लीगेंस आर एच टू ओ दैट इज फोर एच टू ओ आर देर एंड देर इज वन काउंटर आइन दैट इज सी एल थ्री सी एल थ्री इज द काउंटर आइन हियर विच इज अ नेगेटिवली चार्ज काउंटर आइन दैट्स वाई वी आर रिटर्न ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द ब्रैकेट सो वेन दिस पार्ट दैट इज अ काउंटर आइन इज एक्चुअली द आयोनाइजेबल पार्ट इट गेट आयोनाइजर्स सो दिस पार्ट वेन इट आयोनाइजर्स सो वॉट विट इट विल रिजल्ट इट रिजल्ट दैट इज अ रिमूवल ऑफ सी एल थ्री इट फॉर्म्स थ्री पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स हाउ दैट इज सी आर एच टू ओ फोर सी एल थ्री वेन इट आयोनाइजेस वॉट इट गिवस सी आर एच टू ओ फोर एंड आफ्टर द सी एल थ्री सी एल नेगेटिव गेट रिमूवड दैट इज थ्री सी एल नेगेटिव गेट रिमूव सो वॉट इट विट डेवलप्स इट डेवलप्स थ्री पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो दैट्स वाई ड्यू टू द आयोनाइजेशन वी कैन से दैट द काउंटर आयन गेट आयोनाइज सो द रिमेनिंग पार्ट विल बी दैट द कॉर्डिनेशन स्पीयर डेवलप्ड थ्री पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन से दैट दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स इज कैटाइनिक सो हाउ यू आइडेंटिफाई द कैटाइनिक कॉम्प्लेक्स either if it is directly written in a positive charge that is cationic complex or if there is a counter ion that is negatively charged counter ion then the complex will be cationic complex so the next type of complex is the anionic complex anionic complex in this you can see the example k2 pt cl6 here the counter ion is positively charged that is k plus as you know so during the ionization it turns to pt cl6 two minus why it develops two minus but because k2 pt cl6 when it get ionized the two k plus ion get ionized so what it remains on the complex the two negative charge remains on the complex now this is called as a what anionic complex so how you identify anionic complex if it is have a negative charged on the coordination sphere or if there is a positively charged like positively charged counter ion is there then we can call it as a anionic complexes because during the after the ionization it de develops a negative charge on the coordination sphere but there are some uh, complexes uh, which have both the cationic and anionic part uh, like in this example you can see there is a cationic part and the anionic part so such type of complexes which is called as uh, cationic and anionic complexes here the two positive and the two negatively charged complexes are together but there are some complex which have neither the positive charge nor the negative charge on the coordination sphere such type of complexes which have no counter ion and it does not have any charge on the coordination sphere such type of complexes are called as neutral complexes so we have learned about the three type of complexes are the main complexes that is cationic anionic and the neutral and if it have both the cationic and anionic part then it is called as cationic and anionic complex so these are the four type of complex based on the charge of the complex ion so this is all about uh, this uh, video which we have discussed about the introduction part of the coordination compound 
that uh, the detail of the terms different terms which we have used that is ligands coordination number that we all be discussing in the next video so this is all about this session have a nice day